Hey, hey, what's up? You caught me just in time. I'm heading over to the airport. I'm going to Tolo. Yeah, Tolo. Small village, beautiful beach, delicious food. Where the locals hang out in Greece. I'm going to the airport to meet up with Ellie. You want to come with me? Come. Yeah, we got a pretty sweet package deal. That's why I booked an apartment in Tolo for 25 days. But you know, we won't just be staying in Tolo. We'll be going around, discovering destinations. I want to go to a place called Delphi. Ellie wants to go to Meteora. Obviously there's Santorini. You know, and we're going to be posting stuff regularly on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Hey, well, there's Ellie. I got to go. Be sure to subscribe on YouTube because we're going to be posting stuff regularly on Sunday mornings. But stay tuned right now because Tolo is coming right up. We'll see you soon. Hey everyone, hope you liked our new introduction and welcome back to our travel vlog series. Today we're exploring the beautiful seaside village of Tolo in Greece. Known for its stunning beaches, rich history and delicious cuisine, Tolo is a hidden gem waiting to be discovered. So grab your sunscreen and let's dive into this Mediterranean paradise. As we usually mention in our vlogs, we have some travel affiliate links that we'd like to share with you because we've either found great deals or had wonderful experiences. At no extra cost to you, you can benefit from the same advantages as we did by clicking the links in the video's description. This will in turn help Ellie and I continue to produce great content for all y'all. First, we wanna share how we got a really great deal for a car rental at the Athens airport. After passing through immigration, we picked up our luggage and headed over to the rental counter. Once we had our wheels, we activated our Aerolo internet connection to connect our iPhone to the Peugeot's CarPlay, and we set out for our two hour ride to Tolo. Having never driven in Greece, we took our time to get acquainted with their driving style. Let's just say some like to speed, which was confirmed by a local we met at the airport. So if you're also a new driver in Greece, we recommend that you stick to the right lane until you get adjusted. Don't worry, pretty soon you'll be cruising in the left lane at 130 km per hour. Like other European countries, there's a fair share of tolls in Greece, especially in and around Athens. We don't recall how much we spent, but we remember stopping quite a few times during our two-hour car ride. At first, we were always searching for change, but then we noticed that most toll stops accept credit cards. This might be a good time to mention that Ellie has completed our Tolo blog, where you'll find a lot of complimentary information. The link is in the description, or if you go directly to discoveringdestinations.com, select the Europe tab, and then Greece. I thought it was really cool how she found a toll calculator. What impressed me most was how the website calculates an estimated amount of tolls plus gas consumption from one destination to another. Give it a try for yourselves. As mentioned earlier, Tolo is a smaller village, so you won't need a car to get around since it takes approximately 15 minutes walking distance from the furthest point of the village to the center. Since we got a great deal on a BnB, b we made Tolo our home base. And with our car rental, we were able to discover many surrounding cities and villages as day trips. Tolo is steeped in history, with nearby archaeological sites like the ancient theater of Epidaurus, famous for its state-of-the-art sound quality, to the very well-kept Mycenaean ruins of Tiryns, to the beautiful port city of Naplio, where we made great friends. But let's not forget the Larissa Castle in Argos. And so much more. Walking among these ancient ruins and villages, we were transported back in a time to a world of myths and legends, marveling at the architectural wonders of the past. We'll dive deeper into these neighboring destinations in our next series of vlogs, so be sure to subscribe and get notifications when they're published. No trip to Tolo is complete without indulging in the local cuisine. From fresh seafood caught daily to traditional Greek dishes bursting with flavor. 
The restaurants and taverns in Tolo offer a culinary experience like no other. Don't forget to try the local specialities such as grilled octopus, moussaka and souvlaki for a true taste of Greece. As for us, we enjoyed freshly caught fish from Fish Tavern Bikaki where we had the option to have it grilled or fried. This restaurant had great service and delicious food. Our first dinner in Tolo was at Maman's Grill, a simple yet delicious restaurant where we shared a Greek salad, a very popular Greek appetizer of pan-seared Greek cheese, which goes by the name of Saganaki cheese, and the yogurt loo kebab, which was a mixture of tomato sauce, yogurt, and mixed meat, all nicely presented in a delicious bread bowl. We both had seafood pasta at Maria's restaurant, which also offers spectacular sunset views. When we ran out of coffee at our B&B, we headed over to Cleopatra's Bakery for a quick breakfast. There you'll also find pre-made sandwiches and out of this world delicious baklava. Also good to know, Tolo has two markets on opposite sides of the main road. They operate every day of the week, just double check Google Maps to be sure. Here we were able to stock up on fruits, honey, coffee, we even got a few souvenirs at a fraction of the price of tourist traps. Oh, and as for ice cream, don't worry, I counted at least four spots from this street corner. Sure, Tolo is known for its beautiful crystal clear water beach, but there's also a charming town center. There you'll find everything you need on this main avenue. A variety of shops selling a range of items such as local crafts, beach gear, books, olive oil products, souvenirs, clothing, and accessories. The town also has a number of supermarkets, bakeries, and other specialty stores where you can purchase groceries, fresh produce, and other essentials. Besides shopping, you can enjoy a leisurely stroll along the main avenue or take a walk on the sandy beach. The beach in Tolo is a great place to relax, swim, sunbathe, or participate in water sports, such as kayaking, paddleboarding, and snorkeling. There are also several beachfront cafes and restaurants where you can grab a bite to eat or enjoy a refreshing drink while you soak up the sun. Overall, Shopping in Tolo is a pleasant experience, as the town offers a variety of activities for you to enjoy both on land and in water. Our first week in Tolo, which was in early May, we felt it was cloudier and colder than forecasted online. What we mistakenly thought was cloudy weather was actually a phenomenon taking place. Locals told us that over the past handful of years, southern Italy and Greece has been receiving particles of dust from the Sahara Desert. This meant we should take care as the air quality wasn't great, but it also meant it would take us nearly until the end of our stay in Tolo to discover its true beauty. With views like this, who can resist taking a dip in the refreshing water, snorkel among the colorful fish, and explore the underwater world? For those seeking more adventure, Tolo offers a variety of water sports, from diving to sailing, providing endless opportunities to soak up the sun and make long-lasting memories. You can also take a boat cruise to the island of Hydra and Spetses. As if Tolo wasn't remote enough of a destination for you, you can take the day cruise to the small, quiet island, which is perfect for those of you who really want to get away from it all. Hydra is known for its lovely whitewash houses and narrow streets, Spetsis, on the other hand, is a bit larger than Hydra and has a more lively atmosphere. With the day cruise, you'll be able to visit both of these marvels from Tolo. Feel free to check out the Pegasus Cruises website. Thanks for watching this vlog, everyone. And as discovering Tolo comes to an end, we're left with great memories of the Sunkissed Beach 
the beautiful Mediterranean views and the mouthwatering meals. Stay tuned because we have a whole lot more discovering Greece. With 25 days in Tolo, we were able to visit places like Corinth, Delphi, Meteora, Santorini, and so much more. As usual, we're eager to share our hidden gems, best travel tips, and recommendations. Until then, feel free to drop us a line and let us know where you'd like for us to explore next. All right, everyone, take care, stay safe, and keep on discovering. We'll see you in the next vlog.